I need, I need, I need you. Hello, Sugar Bays, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Takira. I'm Ashley. And we have a special kiss, our beautiful friend, Brittany. Hello. Everybody say hi to Brittany. Go follow her on Instagram. We'll link it down below. Y'all know what today is. So before we get started, go grab your glass of wine. Okay. Grab your glass of wine. I want y'all to comment below what y'all drinking. I want to know what y'all drinking because I might need a new wine to drink on next week. So we want to know what y'all drinking. So today's video, y'all, the topic is dating in your 20s. Yeah. <laughs> We've compiled a list of questions. We're just going to talk about each one and see how each other's dating life has been thus far. Right? Chat it up. Let's go. How has dating for you changed since transitioning from your early 20s to now? Mm. I feel like I feel like mad changed drastically. I don't know if it's because it's just me that changed, or it's like the men are also in that uh, you know older age bracket. But when I was young, it wasn't it wasn't about like a relationship and like being with somebody and let's build a future and let's get married. In my early twenties, it was about you know probably I still call it puppy love. Or if you're in a relationship or you know the other <laughs> stuff that y'all do together when y'all ain't in a relationship but it feel good <laughs> but it feel good <laughs> that like i honestly it was more so about that and just dating and having fun and being free as versus now i date with intent and i date to be with somebody that I can see a future with, um, I could see growing old with, being a great father to my children. So it's completely different, completely. I definitely think dating for me has changed a lot because well, you can ask them. <laughs> I'd be going through it, but I definitely date now to be more intentional. Definitely set intentions from the beginning. Dating when you're younger, you're one. just literally dating because you can. You just want to be in somebody's face sometimes. Yeah. But now, as I've gotten older, that's definitely not it at all if i don't see it going anywhere if i don't want to be with you long term there's really no point in us really you know continuing any type of relationship <laughs> i will say dating has changed drastically for me because i was such a relationship person y'all like i was in long relationships shouldn't have been that long but hey <laughs> it happens to the best it, you I was know in a super long one it happens i was I would either be in a long relationship or be single, like so single till I really wasn't talking to anybody for a while. But now that I'm older, I feel like I give a little bit more mm -hmm. chances. I feel like I was a little more mean, so I wasn't that approachable in my early 20s versus now. I'm a little more approachable. People ask me on a date and I determine if I've got time to go or not. But y'all, I ain't been in a relationship in a while. And it feels good because I actually got to learn myself. You know? Yeah, learn what you want, what yeah, you don't want. Yeah, learn what I want, what I what you what can I stand. don't want, and definitely what you can stand. You know, my <laughs> do's and don'ts, and what I will won't put up with. That's just that. Definitely was like having fun in my early twenties. I'm too much fun. <laughs> maybe I was a player. Maybe I wasn't. Who knows? Who don't know? I was in long relationships too, but yeah, now intent. Mhm. Mm Where is the husband? Yeah. Crazy. We entered. We in that second half of the the twenties, so it's kind of like, all right, let me slow down a little bit. But y'all, so this next question. <laughs> this, okay, because yeah. this next question, I gotta get, I gotta get ready so I can let y'all know. This I'm next question. Here. How do you feel about pre dating? Exactly, yeah. right? Exactly. I don't know what that pre is. Pre-dating is meeting up or linking up with the intention to introduce and get to know each other without the mandate of spending money. What? So this is this is more so a thing that men do. Like we don't do this because it's not like we just right. So to clarify, it's dating without having to spend money? Yeah. So like so what are you going for a walk? walk? <laughs> I, I did see something like that on Twitter. It became you a whole big a trend of, like, yeah. of walk dates. They literally were calling them walking dates. Like you meet up at the park and like go for a walk or like you meet up at the gym or do like, it's usually it's something like active. Mm -hmm. oh. um. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't, 
I and guess. I guess I I guess I get it. I get it. I get that men. Some men have been through situations where women only dated them for money. for money or for a meal. Unfortunately, it happens. Okay, so I get it. If you feel like <laughs> this is something that you want to adapt to protect yourself, who am I to judge you? Right. Who am I to judge you? If you feel like that's something you want to do to protect yourself, by all means. However, I do feel like that's something that could be easily communicated against both of y'all before the date. Pre-date, right. um, because to her it's gonna just be a date, N not a pre-date. So you might not make it past the pre-date if you taking me to the gym for a actual date. Not me, I'm some women. Like if you like, yeah, let's, the gym. Ooh, our first day at the gym. Ooh, some women that ain't gonna rouse them. So you should probably communicate with her that hey, you know what I'm saying? How about we go on a few days? We don't have to spend money on get to know each other. See if we really want to take this even a step further. Communicate. You don't gotta keep it on the sly. Yeah. When it comes to whatever this new pre dating is, I definitely think communicating it is the biggest thing you need to do. Mm -hmm. I don't go to the gym on my own, so if I'm trying to get to know somebody and the first thing he tells me is, "Oh, let's go to the like, let's meet up at the gym," baby, I'm not coming. We're not. No. Because I'm gonna think not, there's not no the reason gym. for us to, or even meet me at the park and let's go walk. I'm gonna think you're trying to kidnap me. See, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that, that's kind of scary, I was especially kinda, because you don't really know them weird. that well. Because based off of, you know, what you described, they're saying, like, that's like your first initial date. You don't want to spend any money. So let's, I'm not meeting you at the park. I'm not meeting you to go do a hike because I'm going to be sketched out. But, okay, so we live. <laughs> that's last communication. It's right. Me. Just communicate that to me that that's something you want to do. We live in a, a big city. And it's tons of free stuff. Believe it or not, it's tons of free stuff to do in Vegas. So right. if, a, if a man did say, like, hey. Um, let's go on a date and let's let's go to the conservatory. Oh, I, 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 nice. I, I love flowers and I love the conservatory. That's, you, that's somewhere I go. If you're from Vegas or if you know what the conservatory is, that's yeah. a cute yeah. ad. Excuse that's, me, that's a that's cute date. Cute pre, that's a cute pre-date. That's, <laughs> that's a nice pre-date. Pre Will I want to meet you hiking? Hell no. Will I want to meet you at the park? Absolutely not. not. <laughs> I will go somewhere where there's a lot more, and, and y'all can say, "Oh, public a park is public, yeah," but that don't mean that people gonna be there. The so parks out here are different. Right. Okay, <laughs> to be honest, if so you're if active, we, ride bikes. Ride bikes. Yeah, we can ride bikes. We could go. We go roller skate. I, I don't know. Right. We and go I to understand. the roller rink. Uh, uh, some I don't know. Anything. Ride a bike, but I'm not hiking with you. Yeah. If you <laughs> if you don't if you don't want to spend money. There's ways to not spend money and we still go on a date to where it doesn't seem like you're being cheap yeah. and it doesn't seem like she's being a gold digger. Cause and I don't know why y'all got that so. in y'all mind that all women are not gold diggers. diggers. Cause the first right. date costs. I honestly mm. feel like, yeah, just like communicate it because it sounds like the pre-date could be something that's beneficial for you. Why can't it be something beneficial for her as well? I feel like right. she would benefit from not uh, go, from going on pre dates as well, get to know you more, get to know you better without spending some money or having you spend money. Like right. that could benefit both of y'all. So just communicate that. Yeah. I would, I don't, I would like a pre date. A pre date, a pre date is just a date, just with no money. Right. <laughs> but a free date. It's a free date. Called a free date, not a pre date. Free date. <laughs> it's just a free date. Like whatever. Uh, if if you making it, if it's if it's like fun and we actually getting to know each other, then I'll take you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like even, a, a, I don't know, like. We got a nice little area, area out there. Yeah. You know, we definitely could, we could definitely out there. out there by the fire pit or, you know, somewhere we could here to where we yeah. could have a date if we wanted to. If, if you were, if you weren't opposed to that, to them coming out here, then it could be nice out there where we stay at. I feel like the pre-date was created by a man who is who ego and who feelings got right. a little hurt <laughs> and he's trying to find a way to stop that from happening right. um by all means you can just call it a date and just go do free stuff it's okay yeah. w women like free stuff you take me to a good art museum thank you right they I'm got here they definitely it. have those mafia free. museum yeah thank you like i like you right. take me to a good museum I'm here for it. They have the art galleries. Art galleries are free. Right. 
on the strip. We can go to the art galleries and then it's a nice little place where you can do free wine tasting. If you just don't want to spend money but you want it to be a good time and you really want to fill out the woman, take her to that art gallery, ask her some questions, take her to that, um, that free wine place and y'all drink or wine taste for free. Like it's a free date but it's a really nice date. Also, no shame to the free date. I feel like when you're in that talking phase, you should be able to fill out whether or not a woman is trying to just get you for exactly. a date and your money versus a woman that really wants to go on a date with you. No mm -hmm. offense, it's keys. It's stuff that they throw out there, whether they push in the date or like, we need to go to this expensive restaurant, we need to go here. Mm -hmm. You should be able to fill that out in the talking phase. So, oh, if, money's part oh. of the problem. Go on Groupon. They, even if I understand not wanting to spend any money, but sometimes depending on where you live, that can be hard. So if mm -hmm. you're on a budget, plan a date that's in your budget, look things up, research, go on Groupon. There's coupons for everything. There's really no excuse to be trying to go walk in the park. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And then <laughs> maybe we would need a, a, a more understanding. So if we had a guy here, we would let him explain. If he was into that, we would let yeah. him explain. Yeah. Because I do so if you are, Yeah. If you are a man and you watching this go ahead and comment down below what your yes. ideal perspective of perspective the of what predating is. is just help us to understand different. a little more because we we are women so we have to protect ourselves at the same time because we don't know you and yeah um, I, I had I a guy ask me though. i had right. a guy ask me sense. before if i wanted to go hiking okay. i do Why feel I like it could be beneficial however i don't feel like it needs to be called a predate Right. That's all. I do feel a like it could be beneficial. Date. I just don't feel like it needs its own title or its own category. It's a, I feel like date. it's a date that you don't pay for that you can get to know a person better. Right. right. And then that segues, this free dating segues into the next question, which is the topic of talking, the talking phase. So <laughs> the question is, what's the point of the talking phase and how long should it last before an official date happens? I get the talking phase. I get it. I get it. But it shouldn't be that long. Actually, I get it. I feel I like I feel like when it comes to the talking phase, it's about that phase of uh, getting to know the initial parts of a person. The initial, okay, for your last name, maybe your middle name, maybe your favorite color, maybe where you live, where you stay, some of the simple little things you like to do. But I feel like I am not about to be in the talking phase with you for two weeks. I'm t I, maybe that's me. I feel like two weeks is a long time for us to do that initial date. We can go further and get each other's, connect with each other better in person. Because I'm reading it the way I want to receive it. I'm not reading it how you typing it. I'm reading it the way I want it to receive it. So it's either going to sound bad or it's going to sound real good. The way I'm reading your text. Right. I, so, I'm, no more than, no more. No, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the I'm, fan. Say, I'm, I'm not, not a fan, fan of the talk. It's not fan. for me. It got to be a reason. Like, say it's long distance. That's different. Long right. distance is different. Long <laughs> difference is different. Say if it's long distance to where, you know, you have no, nothing other to do but to FaceTime, but to text, but to talk on the phone. So, yeah, that, that's a talking phase. But if we're in the same city and you think I'm about to be talking to you, we're not dating or nothing, we're just talking, it's a no for me. All right. I feel like the talking phase is too much of a gray area. Everybody's definition of talking is dating. And also, if I just wanted to sit on the phone and talk and just text all day, I would get a pen pal. I would talk to exactly. somebody in jail. The whole point of talking, I feel like, is to fill out the vibe and make sure I like you enough and we have enough chemistry to for me to want to go somewhere in public with you and, you know, take things further. I'm grown. I'm not about to sit on the phone with somebody all day. I'm not going to FaceTime you all day. We're not going to text all day every day, like Takara was saying, especially if we're in the same city there's no reason for us to live no more than 20 minutes away from each other okay. and we can't make plans to see each other i'm gonna see that as you're not interested yeah and then i'm not gonna be and interested. then i'm not gonna be interested and then i'm gonna be interested in him okay because he is taking me out and you want to talk that's what he happens take me out. you want to be pen pals and there's somebody out there that's really willing to take me out on dates and you know get Just to know, know me, me and take me out and do things with why would i keep myself interested in you and even nothing. put up with that that doesn't make any sense i feel like in the, <laughs> the reason why i'm just not no longer a fan this is back to question number one the difference between n now and then uh, dating in your 20s mm -hmm. i wasn't dating in my 20s i was talking a lot of talking. and then i was in a relationship i it was never really 
dating and then in a relationship for me in my young 20s. So I am not a fan of talking because that's a waste of my time. That's a waste of your time. You're we 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 talking for what and then not working towards nothing. Yeah. Or we talking and we're not even probably talking about important stuff that's really actually letting us get to know each other. We probably just talk how your day Right, because I don't need to be asked what I'm doing every five what you minutes. Doing? It didn't change. If I five minutes ago, if I told you I was laying on the couch watching TV in five more minutes, I'm probably gonna be in that same spot. Like, are we gonna go hang out or no? <laughs> what are we still what texting you doing? for? What you doing? I give you a good like three to five days of texting before you need to be making some type of plan to see me, or we don't need to. <laughs> don't text me no more. <laughs> I'm texting the next one. <laughs> It's just, it'd be like that. I yeah. mean, we getting, we getting up, we getting older. We in our, what, mid to late, tw Dang, late, late 20s. 20s. I guess 26. I'm in late 20s. 20, I'm in my late 20s. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, like after 25. After 25 is late 20s? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we don't in our. Don't remind me. I'm, I'm in my mid 20s. For now. Girl, barely. Right. <laughs> Tip on iceberg. I'm I'm the youngest one, okay? I am in my mid-20s. Anyway, we in our late 20s because whatever, I'm about to not have no life insurance anymore. <laughs> so, not life insurance. No. I gotta get my own insurance soon. But anyway, yeah, we, we, we're entering in our, well, we are in our late 20s. So, that talking stuff, Leave that for your mama. Leave go that talk, for, right. go talk to talk, granny. Go talk to your grandma because she probably miss you. You ain't talked to her in a while. Leave that for a child. Get a pen pal. Leave that for a child. Pen pal. Pen pal. I had a pen There's pal. There's people in jail that want to talk right. and that's all talk they can do. Talk it's to about, them. It's about, honestly, it's always just been no talk, talking, just action. Yeah. Right? It's all like, about effort. I'll, I'll trust you and the stuff you do, you say, if you're doing the stuff to bag it up. Mm -hmm. But that right. talking stuff is like... It's talk for the initial hellos, and then after right. that, it needs to be when we link it When up. are we going to go on that <laughs> date? When is how and where it's going to take place? Yeah. All of that. Yeah. Like I feel like you, I feel like you can not know if you want to be with somebody, but you know if you want to see where things go. Right. Within that first initial, I don't know, hangout or meet. I know I, I know I can see like all right I'll see where it goes or I'll be like nah I never talk to you ever again in life right. like you feel those <laughs> vibes like you know we know I feel like we know enough and we shouldn't be playing with each other so be intentional yeah. that Definitely. talking stuff I, I'm not a fan of it but if that's what y'all like to do whatever you know, whatever floats your boat I'm like I'm not here to judge you but don't come trying to talk to me because I can talk to my I can talk to them you talk a lot I'm talking. To him. I don't need to talk to We're you. We're talking too. right now. We're talking to y'all. My job, okay. talk all day. My job requires me to talk for eight hours. I don't want to talk. <laughs> Let's go do something. Right. I don't want to talk. I'm, well, right. I'm gonna talk to you, obviously, but I don't want to just talk. Yeah. Like I don't want to be talking on the phone. I don't. Wanna and when, when we in the same city, I don't want to talk on the phone all the time. That don't make no sense. What you want to do? So yeah. No, anyway, no. we're not fans of the talking stage. If you are. By all means, whatever you want to do, that's your that's your prerogative. That's your prerogative. Not this one. The next question, or not question, but um, topic: dating turnoffs. Breathing. <laughs> Such a cat porn answer. Breathing. Honestly, what dating turnoffs really is lack of communication. Hmm. Inconsistency. Uh, inconsistency. Yeah. Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Yeah, that's it right there. And what is the to. thing? You can't express your emotions, baby boy. Use your words. Yeah. Use your words. Talk to me. I'm here. Listen. Be considerate. Please be considerate and be consistent. Them, them the yeah. ones. Communication, consistency, consideration. Yeah. Three C's. Um, Definitely to piggyback off what Ashley was saying. Consistency is a big one. If you gonna be consistently don't be in my life or consistently be there, <laughs> we're not gonna do the back and forth. If you're consistent from the beginning and make it clear that this is what you want. Right, you're not gonna be around, then I can make my decision from there on what I wanna do. If you're consistently showing effort, then I'm gonna do the same thing. That's it. Consistency, That's if it. you are not consistent, you can't do it. That definitely goes back to the first question. Mm -hmm. The difference in between dating then and dating now, 
you'll get cut off for not being consistent immediately. Right now, can, yes, I, yes, right now, me. oh, can't do it. But other turnoffs, definitely lack of communication. There's no, it's not that hard to communicate. It takes three seconds to send a text and to call. I'm gonna be busy all day. I have, you know, I have to talk to you later. That takes two seconds instead yes. of going the whole day, and then you want to know why somebody has an attitude. That's I think it. It. you got three days to not talk to me, and then I'll. That's like my you. rule. Right. Three days. I don't be liking you no more. You be yeah, feeling that's it too. You definitely, be like, oh. definitely yeah. the biggest ones for me. Like, dang, I know we busy, but you no, make, three you days. Make no time. Three days. People make time for what alive. they want. And in I'm that sorry. three days, I'm still, I don't even know if I can give you three days. Y'all know no, what Jesus did in three days? No communication at all. Within those three he came, days. He died and came back to life. No. Jesus died and came back to life in three days. So why you think he's special? I don't even have three days. You ain't died and come back to life. Huh? Sure. Oh. <laughs> I ain't not long. Be, but really baby consistency girl. and communication Definitely. and consideration. And those are bare minimums. I'm sorry. Let me tell y'all my turn off. Because... Oh, as a tourist woman, I do not like when people, when men, try to tell me who I am. Oh, I'm sorry, that was very dramatic of me, but how I hate. I would that. just mean that you trying to tell me who I am. You I don't hate know that. Me. That's you a even give me a chance. So a man, turn that's a huge turn off. You trying to tell or, me, or when who they compare you to their oh, other exes oh and goodness. they think that you gonna be just like, like them, them, so they don't give themselves even a chance to get mm -hmm. to know who you really are. You already got this image in your mind. No, she's she gonna be am. just like her. When whole time, Shorty can never match up to me. Mm -hmm. Meant that with all of me. Period. I mean, I'm really feel the same way because women, we as women, we will compare. And we take will compare, it out on them. unfortunately, we will compare you to exes as well. We try not to, I try not to have the notions, but we compare, we compare. We're scarred too. We're not perfect. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't gonna just be like, you gonna be just like Shorty. My ex, my ex, act just like you. My ex did the same thing. No. Nah. so in badly. <laughs> no, nah, I don't got no ex for all you know. <laughs> not yeah, I'm no not ex. gonna even no, say that to I've you been like that. My no. Whole life. I ain't no, had you ain't an ex. Know. For all you know, I ain't never had an ex, so mind your business. Yeah. Don't compare me to nobody. Don't make this, don't have this image in your mind that I'm somebody that I'm not. Please. Get to know me, and then we can decide if we want to continue getting to know each other or not. I agree. So, yeah. That's, that's my, along with everything, that was my, one of my biggest ones. Don't tell me who I am. You don't know yeah. who I am. Yeah, don't do that. You, don't know me. you in my business? Don't do don't that. Do don't do that. <laughs> do we, as women, feel like the bar is set low for men? And if so, yeah. how do we change that? I'm going to be the first to say, yeah, hell yeah. yeah, okay, yeah okay. The bar is on the floor. Sure, come the on. bar, the is, bar in is on the floor. There the bar is, is in hell. There, there is, is no bar. bar. <laughs> Where to go? <laughs> it does not exist. The bar. The bar yeah. not even in hell. The limit does not exist. <laughs> hell got better expectations okay. than that bar. Where that bar at? That, that I know bar. what to expect if I go to hell. There ain't no bar. Ain't no Honestly, bar. I ain't feel no like the expectations are set low because women. We we Definitely. allow men to get away with Murder. doing the bare minimum Murder. stuff you should just do as a decent human being. Oh goodness. We praise that stuff. And I'm not saying we praise it to them and be like, oh my god, thank you so much. No, we praise it to ourselves. When a man call us and stuff to ourselves, we'd be like, Oh my god, he called me. Or like this could be the littlest of things that a man do and we make them such a big deal. When it's actually just something, uh, you human do, decency. You should do anyway. Something you should be doing anyway. Something I do mm -hmm. on a regular for you. And I'm praising you for right. doing the little things. Which makes you believe if all I gotta do is this. Right. And she'll be happy. You better to take your girl out of me. Then all I gotta do is call my girl three times in one day. Right. And, and she gonna, gonna be happy. happy. And she happy. Okay, and I'm coming home with a new pair of shoes. Whole time, whole time the pool boy bring her flowers. But that ain't your business. The, 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 the way we need to change it is, we need to start one, hold them accountable. Yes. Oh Two, my God. We need to start, stop praising the little things and start asking for the most, what we deserve. Don't even ask, require it. Require okay. it, yeah. It's, don't make it optional. Require it. Stop, make, stop settling for less. Mm, that's the one. That's the one. Stop settling for what we don't deserve. 
Okay. And stop just asking for, I'm asking for the bare minimum. Why? Why? Why are you asking for that? And you should be getting you it. Feel like you, you feel like you only deserve the bare minimum child, please. The moment you feel like you got to ask for the bare minimum is the moment you need to leave that relationship. Be begging for the bare minimum is what it seems like, which is why when there's women out here who are asking for more, well, demanding more, they're the ones that come off as high maintenance mm -hmm. and bougie. bougie. But in reality, aggressive. they're not asking for anything that you shouldn't should be, be willing to do anyway. anyway. If you're not willing to do those type of things, sounds like to me, you probably shouldn't be dating. Mm -mm. We need to right. stop making it okay for the little things right. to be the big things. Like you said, getting excited over a free meal and a, and because he texted yeah. you back three day, in three days. You no. shouldn't be texting me and we should be going out for on right. dates. Honestly, and that's the bare minimum. It shouldn't be a thought of, hmm, I wonder if we're doing something on Valentine's Day. You hmm, should I wonder already if know he's going to be celebrating my birthday with me. Hmm, right. It should be like, you, I already know what my man going to do. Right. Or you I already don't know he going to come with something. Yeah, like, I know he's going to come gonna with something happen. because this is how he is. Not, oh my God, I hope he do this. Right. I hope he be do having that. to make backup plans because you don't know if your dude going to come through. Right. We have to drop little hints on. Never. The, the only way we need to do this, and we got to do it as a unit. Right. Everybody got to set their cookies up. A unit. And if not a unit, can we get 80%? <laughs> I tweeted. I tweeted the other day. I said, um, I said, ladies, we're going to raise the bar this year. Are we still accepting the bare okay. minimum? I've seen a lot of girls actually stepping up, though, and we're, really we're demanding the bar. what they mm -hmm. want. But honestly, the guys have to hold themselves accountable too. We can all demand what we want, but they have to realize that that's what they just need to do. Yeah, I they, mean, they're going to realize that once when they all when single. it's not accepted, yeah. when nobody's yeah. accepting right. it no more. They're going to have to step up. But shout out to the ones that already are. We're not talking shout about y'all. Y'all doing what needs to be done. Right. Help the others. <laughs> Please help, help your friends, because I know you got a friend who fell into that category. Yeah, yeah. I honestly feel like, board. ladies, it's not up to nobody but, but us. You. Yeah. They're going to go off of it. what we give yeah. out. And if we're giving out happiness for the bare minimum, that's what they're going to do. The mm -hmm. bare minimum. minimum. So we need to make them work. Mm-hmm. And they're going to work if they, come on. If they want you, they're going to work for they you. They're going right? to work. If and they if want they you, they're going to work. Then they don't. Then they if, don't. Because if they wanted to, they would. And he ain't it. And happening. stop and stop and stop that that Miss Independent. Miss I don't got no feelings. Shit. Stop that shit, y'all. Because you know, serious. Takira, Takira <laughs> never curse. Right. Hold on, video. I know. Never curse. I do not. I hate right. that. And the only reason why I feel like it's relevant because I feel like they using that as an excuse to mess. When they get the bare minimum, or don't even get the bare minimum, then your feelings hurt. You're trying to act like your feelings not hurt and you don't need a man. Not saying you need one, but honey, stop using that. Right. You can be stop independent and still have a man. man. Don't match your feelings. Be who you're supposed to be. Right. Become that woman. If you require, if your standards up here, you need to present yourself like your standards up there. You don't need to be just. Right. Well, That's definitely part of it. Too. Yeah. Accepting it. Yeah. Don't, don't accept, accept it. it. What? Right. If you want flowers, you better bring some flowers. You better say that. Like what? And still don't be overly joy for it. Just like, thank, thank you. you <laughs> That's it. You ain't need to. Oh my God, nobody said for flowers. Was so flowers. Cute. Okay, no. You get on Twitter don't and tweet about that. it for a week. Right. Oh, my man brought me flowers. What y'all man do? Mm -hmm. Girl, he bought me Mercedes Benz. And, and, and when he leave, but he's like, not supposed to do that. So and when he leave, don't tell your friends he did this. Be like, as he should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not as me. I'll be doing it as he should. As he should. <laughs> me over here. No, he ain't got to talk to me on his uh on his vacation. Calls me anyway. Hang up as he should. As you should. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anyway, next question. Twenty twenty one, raise the bar. What what we said? Raise that, the bar. The last video hashtag no, no selfish sex twenty twenty one. In this hashtag video, hashtag raise the, the bar. And that's on what y'all? Mary had a little lamp. Mary had a little <laughs> <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> That's what that's on. Okay, guys, look, we have gone on a tangent. We got things to say about dating our 20s because we're dating in our 20s. But we're going to have to go ahead and drop a part two of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one so far. But just go ahead and catch us in the next one. We'll be right back. Peace.